Hi, this is Kevin from Mets Heuristics. In this prerequisite video, I will discuss the three-step guess and check technique that will be used in a few of my other videos which I will cross-reference to. Now this video is intended for parents who are not in tune with the primary syllabus and want to help their children in their studies in Mets. So let's get started. Raju has 18 ducks and cows in his farm. The ducks and cows had 64 legs altogether. How many ducks are there in Raju's farm? Now we know the total number of animals is 18. We know the total number of legs is 64. And the children are expected to know that a duck has two legs and a cow has four legs. Okay? So once we got that, let's draw out the table. Ducks have two, cows have four. And the total legs is 64. So you have your number of ducks times the legs, number of cows times the legs, giving you the total legs. Now for the first part of this video, I will demonstrate what happens when you do brute force. You will get the answer eventually. So let's say that all of them are cows and you have four legs each. There are no, then there will be no ducks because your total number is 18. So your total legs will be 0 plus 72 to give you 72. Okay, so now I need to replace one cow with one duck because I have too many legs already. So I need to cut down on the number of legs. This is what I need to do. So I have 2 plus 68 now giving me 70. Okay, true enough, we are going towards 64. We are decreasing the number of legs going down to 64. Then I continue to replace this cow with the duck. So now I have 4 plus 64 to give me 68. So I haven't reached 64 yet, I replace one more. Then I have 6 plus 60 to give you 66. So haven't reached yet. What to do? Replace one more. Then I have 8 plus 56 and this gives me 64, which is the number of total legs that I want. So then, how many ducks are there? There will be 4 ducks. Okay, so problem settled. But what if they give you a number that is very far away from what you assume? Like let's say, let's say for this example you change it to 48. <coughs> so if this is 48, you want to hit 48. Is there a more general way to do it. Well, yes. So this is what I call the big D. Sometimes it's known as the excess or the shortage, but generally speaking, it is the difference between what you assumed versus what you really have for the total legs or the total value. This is why I call the small D. It's the replacement difference that arises when you make a replacement of one cow for one duck or one duck for one cow. So the big D here is 72 minus 48 and that gives you 24. The small D will be 72 minus 70 and that gives me 2. So the big D divided by small D will be 24 divided by 2 to give me 12. So in actual fact, all these other rows are redundant. I do not need them in the first place. And what does this 12 represent? This 12 represents that you need to make 12 replacements. whereby you replace 12 cows for 
for 12 ducks. Okay, so you are going to have 12 ducks now. And your number of cows would now be 18 minus 12 to give you 6. So then you would have 24 plus 24 to give you 48, which is what you wanted in the first place. So the number of ducks would be 12. Well, I hope you learned something. Do check out my other videos. I'll be making more prerequisite videos in the, in the meantime. So good night.